Before we start today's video, I want to give a huge thank you to this video sponsor, Montame, and their legendary brand new remastered vinyl pressing available now, a Future Fun Classic Reborn. Let's take a look. You are now listening to Super Sex 420. <laughs> One artist who has absolutely exploded in popularity in the vaporwave scene in 2019 is the ever so mystifying Equip. Creating dreamy, ethereal vaporwave influenced by role-playing games of the 16-bit era, Equip has had quite a year as a producer. Finding his home on the no introduction needed 100% electronica label, the Chicago native has been A1 hustling this year to make himself a main name in the community. With numerous live shows from Electronicon to Neo Gaia in Japan, Equip has been on the prowl with a bloodthirsty determination to take his artistry to the next level and the real world. Hell, the dude even quit his job recently to do this full time. You gotta love it. So in August of this year, Equip released his most recent album titled Curse Breaker X. Equip, as some of you may know, especially if you've seen my interview with him on the channel, is a pretty big video game dude. And after beating Castlevania Symphony of the Night for his first time ever back in summer of 2018, Equip wanted to bring some of that gothic vibe into the way of his musical recordings. He tried to mix that gothic Castlevania approach by mirroring some of the sounds of the late 80s, early 90s goth pop music vibe. The 4AD independent British music label, a great example for a sound he was heavily inspired by. Looking back at his previous releases, Equip likes to think of I Dreamed of a Palace in the Sky as a first person mist like exploration RPG, and Synthetic Core 88 as a traditional turn based JRPG. This time around, Equip likes to think of Cursebreaker X as the side-scrolling action RPG of the three. He threw a lot of different influences into this record. New Jack swing style drum programming, M1 rave stabs, and bit crushed breakbeats, just to name some examples. Overall, I brought in a lot of my personal influences, but really tried to keep a heavy vapor feel, making sure to keep the drums loud, but still slushy. Equip started working on Curse Breaker X shortly after getting back home from playing with Lindsay and George in Los Angeles and San Diego in the summer of 2018. Inspired by their live energy, he wanted to begin taking a more active approach to songwriting, crafting catchier tunes that would really pop off live and get people excited. Shortly after, he got lucky and had a solid week off of work, to which he found himself locked inside his room working on this record all day long. Eating peanut butter out of a jar and drinking a lot of carbonated waters, I worked at a feverish pace and put the record together in about two and a half weeks until I felt my creative streak had run completely dry. I removed a few tracks and moved things around until the sequence felt comfy. Equip always wanted to make original echo jams, so he used this new record as his chopping block. Working on the tracks late at night, he found himself intentionally missing perfect loop points, zooming in on strange sounds, and generally mimicking the feel of the earliest vaporwave he was exposed to, computer dreams, internet club, infinity frequencies, etc. He would listen back the next day and decide if he wanted to keep it or not. And with all of this new abundance of music, Equip put together an album's worth of self-sampling echo jams this way, and have released most of them as the B-sides to the singles for Cursebreaker X. Equip modeled the narrative of Cursebreaker X after the hero's journey. Basically, the hero's journey is every fantasy story you've ever been told. Most follow this archetype, and for Equip, a narrative of similar fashion kind of revealed itself to him as he was recording the tracks. Equip obtains a cursed blood red sword which parasitically attaches to their body. Equip gains great power, but starts physically transforming. Becoming more and more demonic in appearance, Equip now sports a singular, large horn protruding from their forehead. Through an angelic apparition, Equip learns the blade was once half of Cursebreaker, a sword forged by the magic to banish an ancient evil to another realm. They must obtain the Lightbringer, the other half of the mighty Cursebreaker blade, and forge them together by midnight, before the Sanguine Blade consumes Equip completely. Equip sets off into the night. 
through the cemetery, deep within the catacombs, and into the underground abyss to find the magic forge that gave birth to the blade. There will be some difficulty along the way. Look, I think all this is fucking awesome. I love heavy narratives in music, and if there is someone who is truly doing that, it is definitely my main man, Equip. Painting such a beautiful picture from the music and background inspiration alone, what you've been seeing throughout this video is the limited edition 45s of singles from the album done by George Clinton over at 100% Electronica before the actual album dropped. With three different editions with unique artwork and vinyl color variants for each one, these little editions titled Act 1 through Act 3 are great additions to any Vaporwave fan's physical collection. And trust me, these are even better to display as one of your forefront pieces as the three different artwork connect to make one bigger piece. Something George and Equip were worried would be truly tough to pull off with the vinyl presser, but looking at it here, it really does seem to connect pretty seamlessly and looks absolutely awesome, so great job on that. Being a video game collector himself, you knew Equip had to put out some pretty aesthetically pleasing physicals to make it worthy for a collector to pick up, and these sold out fairly quickly. Luckily, the entire LP of Curse Breaker X is still available over at 100% Electronica, so if you're interested in picking up some awesome Vaporwave vinyl before 2019 ends, also shout out to my main man Keith Rankin from Orange Milk Records for making some dope ass artwork for this thing. Equip is an artist, straight up you should be keeping a lookout for in 2020. I know 100% Electronica has been pushing him pretty heavily and I can't wait to see what he cooks up for this next decade in the Vaporwave Hemisphere. Equip will be featured on my big collaboration project titled Combo Champ, which will be dropping New Year's Day on my channel. On Combo Champ, I'll be taking 20 beloved artists from the Vaporwave scene and randomly pairing them together to cook up one incredible track to reside on this beast of a collaboration project. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have all notifications on so you are notified about everything regarding this huge drop and I can't wait to see at the live premiere. Which other artists would you want to see 100% Electronica sign in 2020? It looks like George is on the move and he's bringing some people over, so you never know who's going there next. Let myself and others know in the comments below. I would love to see what you gotta say. And until next video, much love, your boy, Pad Chennington.